This video focuses in on when in sociology we compare the culture of one society with the culture of another society. And when we're doing such a comparison, there are three important terms that we generally use. And those terms are cultural universals, ethnocentrism, and cultural relativism. The first term is cultural universals, and these are features that are common to all cultures. Some human needs are so basic that all societies must develop certain features to ensure their fulfillment. And basically what we're talking about here is that in China, in India, in Russia, in Belarus, they are going to, let's say, dance differently than you would in the United States. But a cultural universal refers to the fact that there is some form of dance in all of those different cultures. Even though the specific details are different, the basic underlying need is the same. The same thing goes for activities like cooking, gift giving, medicine, tool making, religion, funeral ceremonies. All these things happen in some form in every culture. Ethnocentrism is the second term we're looking at today, and this is a word that usually has a negative connotation, meaning it doesn't mean a good thing. And ethnocentrism in sociology is defined as the tendency to view one's own culture and group as superior to another culture. So, for example, even though most parts of American culture have comparable elements in other cultures, remember that's cultural universals, Americans who tend to see values and practices used in America as superior to values and practices done in other cultures, they would be described as being ethnocentric. And ethnocentrism causes people to feel group unity. So here in America, we can identify ourselves as Americans, and we focus on our similarities, especially in comparison to the differences in other cultures. And it makes us feel more united more together as a group. The last SOCAD term for this video is cultural relativism. In sociology, we define cultural relativism as a belief that cultures should be judged by their own standards, not by the standards of another culture. So an example would be, we should not judge the religious practices of other cultures using our own American values. In sociology, we say we should judge that religion based on the values in that society. And cultural relativism is something that sociologists use when they're trying to understand the why of foreign cultures. Why do they do this? Why do they do that? When you're trying to figure out the reasoning on a big societal scale for certain activities and elements of culture, you want to study them from the point of view of the people living in that culture. 